Hi, and welcome back to another episode of How to Hack. So today we're gonna to discuss about web application security, vulnerability scanning. And of course, there are a lot of tools out there, including Bubsui, Nastus, and all the like. So today we're gonna to discuss about something There's an open source tool. It's free of charge. It's able to scan through the entire site. It's able to spider, able to test parameters against certain input forms or against the URL. And from here, we're able to see what are some of the areas that are vulnerable to SQL injection, vulnerable to puff traversal, able to do uh, local file inclusion, and we can see all the sensitive information within the site. And of course, be able to look into the database and see what are some of the areas that we can actually get some important information from. And it's gonna be really exciting. So I hope you learned something interesting today. So over here, I have Color Linux running, and we can enter the IP address as 192.168.1.19 and on the other end I have a vulnerable server running that's actually hosting as a Metasploitable 2 which also has Mutilidate running so when we enter ifconfig we're able to see the IP address as 192.168.1.13 so moving back to Color Linux we're going to use this great tool called OS OEPS Zap and it's an open source vulnerability scanner for web application. It's a very powerful tool. It has a lot of parameters that can actually help us find all the vulnerabilities within the web application that we're scanning against. It's very straightforward and it is very easy to use. So for a start, from what you can see over here, we have a graphical user interface. And on the right side of the screen, we can see the URL to attack. So all we got to do is just enter the IP address of the victim's machine or the computer that we want to attack against. So you just have to enter the full path URL to it. And when we go to 192.168.1.13, we can see that we are running Metasploitable 2. And we go to Mutilide, and we could see we, have, we are hosting a, a site over here, which is a vulnerable site that we can try to use and hack against. So going back to OApps, Go up zap. All we gotta do is enter slash mutility day, and after which all you gotta do is hit the attack button, and there will be an automated scanning against all the database of potential attacks that we can run against. So this is really straightforward, and it's really powerful, and it's gonna be extremely useful because it can help us find out all the results that we need in order to get information, more information about a website look at what are some of the areas that are actually vulnerable and we could test out those vulnerabilities on our actual web browser or, or any other attacks tools that you have. So what you see over here is that it's actually using running a lot of scanning over onto the systems. So what you can see is actually all of these are checking against the databases of vulnerabilities in order to get access over. So if you could see over here, we are trying to scan spider by first spidering through the entire site. So we actually spider and got all the information that we need or require in order to get into the website. After which, the active scan actually helps push against vulnerabilities so that we can then check against where are the areas that we could try to exploit against. And on the alert end, we could see what are some of the vulnerabilities. So we could see that initially they were checking info informative information, information digestive. So when you look over here, you could see what are some of the information that you can get off the web server. So all the different information are available here. So what's more importantly is more of the red flag that we can see on the bottom left. And the red flag is really the idea for us to try to attack the game. So we could see that it is actually vulnerable to certain, certain pages of the site are actually vulnerable to SQL injection. And we could see that we actually tried entering some of the SQL injection parameters into the system. So, for example, if I were to copy this this uh, item parameters over here into Ice Weasel, and when when that is the case, we are actually able to understand that this is a form that is vulnerable to SQL injection. And when you hit enter, it's saying that you see we are able to get the username back. We are able to check against the database and see where are some of the vulnerabilities that we could we could get more information out of. So this is actually really, really scary. And oh yeah, over here you could see the signature. It means that there were certain items that were being pushed against the database. So actually this was something I tried tried earlier that actually got us some uh, puff traversal and that we could get some local file inclusion. 
and get more information out of the site. So these are really important ways of you to verify uh, in a very automated way so that you get more information about the system and at the same time understand where are the vulnerabilities that are in existence within a site. So this could actually help you be able to get more information and work very thoroughly with the information that you have, clarify, validate the information. So again, it's, it's not just using one tool, you have to use multiple tools to verify the integrity of the results coming from the scanners. But the whole idea is to accelerate the process of penetration testing. And of course, we can see there are power traversal opportunities for us. And of course, the risk is really high. So if you have a web application server, chances are you really want to run these tools against your site so that you understand where are the areas that are vulnerable and where are the areas that you could rectify. So again, looking over here, this is a path traversal opportunity that we can try to push into the, the URL to get more information on the site. And of course, uh, looking down, we could see path traversal is also a, a huge vulnerability because it actually allows us to, to get more information of the site. So looking at remote file inclusion, again, same thing, we're able to push files into the, the page. So another way to verify the, the information is that, say, if I were to copy this section of the URL, and for example, I were to enter this, so it says the page equal. So again, you know, if, if you're we want to test against an vulnerability of the site and seeing whether we are able to get some information. So when you enter this, if, if the local file inclusion is a vulnerability available, look, we are able to get all the list of username and their hash password in, in all this information are available. If we were to enter etc pass wd or we can go into the shadow file. So there's a whole list of important and sensitive information within the Linux system. As you can see that when we go to Metasploitable 2, we are actually running on a on a Linux host. So all these are really inf important information for us to help uh, get more information on the site. As most of the time, penetration testing actually require 90 90 percent to to 95 percent of the time we're actually spending trying to gather information so that we can accelerate the active attacks. So again, we are, we are seeing more and more vulnerabilities within the site. And again, the whole idea is to get information quickly and then to try to test against the results coming from the scanners. So there you have seen it, how easy it was to actually scan for vulnerabilities within the web application server. And we can see where are some of the aerials that are subjected to path traversal, SQL injection, and all the likes. So of course, the whole idea is as a system administrator, when you find all the vulnerabilities in your site, what can you do to harden your system? What can you do to ensure that your system is not vulnerable to any of these attacks? What can you remediate? What are the next steps? How do you push different action items or activities so that your, your web application developers can harden the system? And of course, if you are a computer hacker, chances are many enterprise web application servers already have a web application firewall. So how can you encode your attacks? How can you encrypt your attacks? and be able to still get into the system, extract information, retrieve sensitive information, and of course be able to accelerate the whole process and continue to ensure that it's a covert attack and that you do not activate any host intrusion detection systems and be able to advance the attack much smoothly, much fluidly. So of course, I hope you learned something valuable today. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll try my best to answer them. And thank you so much for watching.